the Sacramento region is fast becoming the destination for major events. And if you're interested in what 2022 has in store for our region, then you want to stay right here and make sure to watch this video until the end for a very special announcement. When I look down the road in Sacramento for all the events happening this year, it's a really robust calendar. Obviously, the last two years have been really tough. But when I look at what's coming, we have the World's Strongest Man Tournament, which is the strongest guys from across the world. We've got the Farm to Fork events, including the Tauberts Dinner, the Farm to Fork Festival, and Legends of Wine. We're hosting the Junior Olympics this summer at Sac State. We're hosting the World Butcher Challenge in September, which is 16 countries and the finest butchers in the world. We're hosting Aftershock, which is the largest hard rock festival in the United States and the third highest revenue grossing festival in the world. We're hosting Iron Man, later that month in October, and we're hosting the uh, Into the Lion's Den Cycling Criterion. There's a ton of outdoor events, there's music festivals, there's sporting events, a lot of fun things happening in our city this year. Mike Testa, President and CEO of Visit Sacramento. So in June, we opened the Safe Credit Union Convention Center and Theater for the Performing Arts. It has been a game changer in Sacramento. Our building dated back to the 1970s. It was made in the brutalist architecture, which isn't the most friendly uh, type of architecture. So we have this new building and we've heard it from convention clients that it's such a different vibe in Sacramento. We're really excited about that. We've added new hotel product into the market. We've had three hotels come up during the pandemic and we have two under construction. So uh, despite the setbacks of the last few years, there's a ton of development happening in our city and a lot of people continue to move here. So we're excited to welcome them. We like visitors, but we also like residents. So uh, it's a great time in our city. When I look ahead, 2022 and beyond, our bookings are robust. Um, you know, they fell off a little bit, obviously, during the pandemic and we were under construction, so the building was closed. But we have events booked out as far as 2029 and we have commitments from some of our largest conventions through 2030. So uh, the calendar is full and, and again, the new building has generated a lot of excitement for us. Well, certainly we encourage people to come to live theater downtown. You know, there's a lot of activity here. And there's a lot of performing arts centers across the region. It's not just Sacramento, it's Folsom, it's Davis. Again, that new convention center isn't just about visitors coming in for conventions. There's home and garden shows, there's the reptile show, there's Sac Anime. So there's a lot of local shows that people who live here can enjoy too. And again, we just encourage people, support the local businesses, shop at the restaurants and the stores, make sure that our local businesses that make Sacramento so special stay alive during this tough time. Certainly Sacramento365.com lists all the events going on in the region, everything from music festivals to parades to family friendly events. So it's a great resource if you're not familiar with the area. If you go in there and, and look at all the, the subjects or type into the search engine what you're looking for, uh, I can promise you it'll come up. It's incredible how many activities are on the calendar. And, and the guy who promotes tourism, I'm continually shocked at what's on there. I, I think I know most of what's going on in the city, but I don't know the half of it. There's a ton of events going on in Sacramento. I think one of the things we saw pre-pandemic was a ton of development coming into Sacramento. A lot of people on the outside looking to invest in our city. And we're hearing that that's still happening. You know, the, the nice thing is that we don't have to start from scratch. I think we get to pick up where we left off. So I expect a lot more development in our town, not just restaurants and hotels, but other development and other things that are designed for the locals. Certainly the visitors will enjoy them, but as residents, we get to use them all the time. The one thing we haven't announced, but we're set to announce pretty soon is the addition of a new music festival to Sacramento. We think that music is a great way to showcase not only what's happening in Sacramento, but some of the local talent. So we're looking at bringing in another national festival. We hope to have that announcement in the next few months, but uh, I think it is a sign of, of things to come in our city. Hello guys, this is Tatiana Bedoya along with Tony Estigoy and we're both luxury property specialists right here in the Sacramento region. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that bell icon and subscribe for weekly local content. And if you're considering moving to our region, be sure to click on the links below to contact our team.